So I'm back to film the Chargers, and as I'm driving in, what do I see? Look at that. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about seeing this in person. It's as ridiculous as I thought it would be. It's, uh... Oh my god. What a... Design. Oh my god, this is... This is... I'm, I'm a bit speechless over here and get a closer look at it because I've officially become one of those looky-loo so-called YouTube Tesla nerds. But oh my god, this is so crazy. So this is the first one I've ever seen in person. I haven't yet gone to uh, see one of the... <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is the... Oh my god. Seeing this person now really, really reminds me how much I love the Rivians. And I just saw a Lightning as well. And it's a great looking truck. I would never buy a Lightning because I don't love the software that Ford's got going on. Ford will get there, but uh, wow, this is something else, man. Something else. Oh, well, as I loop around, I mean, the tires are beefy as can be. All I can keep saying is, look at that. Just bananas. Uh, that is one of the foundation series. So, oh, that's so funny. I feel so lucky. What are the chances that I got to see this on a beautiful, bright, sunny day? Uh, just a regular car load of uh, Model 3s and Model Ys. And uh, Cybertruck on top. Probably going to Vancouver. Unfreaking believable. So freaking funny. Notice how I didn't say the word cool. I uh, did also notice that uh, are these the regular tires seem different on the Model Y. I don't know if that's uh, something that's shift. It's it's changed more recently. Still doing the. Actually, between the two different cars with the same wheels, the tires are different. Well, that's funny. Anybody else notice that? Seen that? Just uh, going with whatever they got. Wild. Really funny. Other folks showing up here as well. Just checking out the, the cyber truck. Pretty damn funny. So just looking at the back, I just realized that it doesn't have the, I think some of them have a little symbol on the back, sort of a three-headed thing. So while I was filming here, this other couple showed up from Washington State. Um, his buddy just texted him that it was here, and we just had a quick discussion about it. So they, they uh, knew it was here, and just were hoping it was still here so they could come by and see it. And... Uh, he thinks it looks better in person. I think it looks worse. So that's what we call opinions. Um, what do you think? Do you like it? Have you seen it in person yet? Uh, I wish it was lower, but I mean, cause I mean, it just, it looks so much beefier cause it's really high up. So you can, it's really hard to gauge what that size is, but I think we all agree that it was just ridiculous. Um, I said, I thought the Rivian looked better, which in my opinion it does. Especially the R2, like the new stuff that Rivian just announced. I think they're just killing it. It looks absolutely amazing. This is just such a polarizing design. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm so glad I could see it. I can't wait to see these actually on the street. I have not seen any. And like I said, this was the first time that I've seen one on a truck. And it's just utterly goddamn ridiculous. So, let's go check out the Chargers and see what the status is. Just, uh... To show you where this is, so this, this truck has just been left here. I guess trucker is in here, or the driver, I, sh I guess it's over here, maybe grabbing a bite to eat or whatever. I don't imagine this will be here, but I'm getting the feeling that, the, that it's been here for a little bit. So here we are on the other side of the Benz Market, um, and then I'm just going to head over and park where I was the other day. 
such a nicer day. Hey weirdos, my name is Scott Smith. I'm back in Blaine, Washington. Uh, this is part two of my video from the other day. I'm back at the Chargers. Uh, I got some great comments, uh, just asking some additional questions, as well as after I left, there was a few other things that I neglected to film. So this is kind of a quick little update of what was going on. So a couple things that I wanted to touch on again are uh, in the comments, people have been saying that those are actually V3 cabinets along with the V4 dispensers. So we're gonna double check to see if there's any markings that verify that. So it seems to be something that Tesla's doing a lot where they're doing this combo of the cabinets from the, the version three cabinets along with the newer uh, dispensers. So wanted to look at the parking spots. They're still quite narrow. They're standard size parking. And I really think that Tesla could use, you know, for inviting other cars to come and use this, then why not make larger parking spots? Because as we see with that Cybertruck over there, or even the Ford Lightning or the Rivian, some of these larger cars are gonna take up almost the entire parking spot. So why aren't we spacing things out? I mean, like use the Costco parking spot as the model where you've got the double lines, where you've just got extra space between cars. I think that makes more sense. So they're thinking towards the future already by adding in these other plugs and adding in the longer cables, but they're not changing the parking spot widths. So that's something we want to look at too. And actually these two over here are actually handicapped parking spots, which is great to see. So let's take a closer look. Now, I don't think this is the, the finished position for these trash cans. Obviously these are not going to sit here in the, uh, in the parking spot because that would actually absolutely make things a lot more difficult for folks. So even these parking spots, these could be wider. I mean, it's got, the buffering on either side, if you want to call it that. So, I mean, there is nobody's going to butt up right against them, but you've got all this room. I'm just wondering what, uh, what the thought process is going in when they're designing these layouts. I see once the green space is done, then the trash cans will be removed. I don't remember if they were actually in the other spot the other day. Uh, our quick flower update or plant update. I don't know if these were here the other day. These feel like they might be new and may not have been here the other day. So again, going to push on this, still locked in. They're definitely not active yet. Let's go check out the cabinets. Super sunny day, really, really nice. It was such a nicer, uh, nicer weather today than it was the other day when I was here. So let's go see what is written on these cabinets. So this side totally blank. You can see the power meter here. I mean, it's not powered up or anything, so everything is just sort of, oh, well, it's sort of active, but not doing anything. It's certainly not registering anything from what I can tell. Uh, there's no markings. People were saying that there was a, a placard on here. You can see something there. When I was here the first time, I just sort of felt like, hey, maybe I shouldn't be walking around in this stuff. So, uh, so we got the address there. This cabinet is different. So there's definitely four cabinets and then this is what? Command center, for lack of a better word. I don't know. Do let me know because uh, I'm new to this portion of it. I'm not one that's ever analyzing the cabinets too much. But if, uh, what do you see? What do you see here? What does that mean to you? Also just realized that on the other side of this cabinet, which is nice is that it's dried out a little bit. Okay, so you folks were 100% correct. Output power, 250 kilowatts. So these then would absolutely indicate that these are the V3 cabinets to go along with the V4 uh, dispensers. So a lot of other info on here. Uh, data manufacturing for the November of 2023 for the actual component, I guess. So we're learning together here today because that wasn't something that I ever look at. Again, I would point out that uh, the other supercharger in Blaine maxes out at 150 kilowatts, obviously under optimum conditions. So this is already going to be faster. This will only max out currently at 250 kilowatts, but I assume maybe that's upgradable. People are talking about each one of those cabinets actually powers four of the dispensers. So the more that I think about this and what this 
setup kind of means or maybe possibly what they're looking to do is that they're, they've got the V3 cabinets that max out at the 250 kilowatts that I've been saying, and they've got the new um, the V4 dispensers, which have the magic dock, have the payment screen. And I think it's more about the accessibility, more about more people being able to use these chargers. They can always upgrade the speed later, and that's why these plugs are there and these new units are there. Uh, we've seen a couple instances where they've put magic docks on the V3 dispensers, but I think in this case, it just makes sense it's kind of future-proofing it a little bit. It's a lot easier to just upgrade the power than to change absolutely everything. But why not get the payment screens on here? Why not add the longer cables? Why not add the, the magic dock to allow more people uh, to be able to get on the network? So what I was talking about in terms of the parking spots is yeah, it just seems like a little bit of a missed opportunity here in terms of spacing these out. You know, it is interesting. I've been to many different superchargers and again, the layouts are different. There doesn't seem to be one standard way. In this case, this is, you know, perpendicular to the parking spot, which you do see a lot, but some of the other chargers, sometimes they're in the corner. Sometimes they're turned, you know, parallel with it or with the parking spot. The fact and what really is the game changer here is the difference with having the magic plug and having the longer cable. And the fact that this is in the center, so it's not offset, it's not perfectly just designed for the, the Teslas anymore. It's built with other vehicles in mind, just not wide vehicles. Also, somebody's coiled up this cable. Progress, just no power yet. Progress, but no power. Notice the continue our tour a little bit. The Benz Market doesn't look like it's open yet. That's probably coming up any day too. The only thing that is open in here is the TA Express. I'm gonna walk in there. I won't necessarily film, but maybe I can ask a question about when do they expect these things to be open. So I did go inside. I did film, or I didn't film, I should say. I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Uh, there were some kids in there and families doing their stuff. Uh, what's inside? Everything's open and there's booths. Um, everything, they've got it all. It's kind of like it wants to be a Wawa, if you know what I mean? Like it's got a giant wall of, of uh, freezers with drinks, alcohol, soda pop, juices, you name it. Um, and then a little funny, uh, so the Jumbo Juice is kind of the biggest thing in there and then the second largest would be the Cinnabon. And then the Pizza Hut is like a little order window in the wall. Um, and then they've got Pizza Hut pizzas out sort of like under a warmer in the middle of the store as well. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, definitely stop in because I mean, they got a whole bunch of beverages that you can choose from as well as car accessories. So they've got like air fresheners, all of that stuff that you would see in like a large gas station, uh, including like radar detectors and CBs and radios and all of that sort of stuff headphones it's uh not quite a bucky's nowhere near a bucky's um but nice nice nonetheless and certainly a lot of uh of uh beverage beverages are the key chips crap food you know well you get at a gas station or a truck stop. So. that was my quick little update hopefully that additional info was helpful it's nice to see this coming along it has been some activity as i said it's getting closer and finally, let's face it. I mean, there's not that many cars out there that are actually charging at 350 kilowatts that can handle that. That's going to change, of course, in another, every six months, every year, there's, there's new vehicles coming online and they're all going to have these, uh, you know, able to handle more power. But fact is, they're not around yet. And, you know, I'll never ex be able to experience that kind of charging speed. My 2021 uh, Model 3 maxes out at 250 kilowatts so as excited as i was to see this you know it doesn't matter my car charges plenty fast pretty good location i'm looking forward to it and uh i will keep reporting and keep providing updates just so happens that i got a couple of more boxes that arrive so i popped down here saw myself a cyber truck got an update here i'm gonna call it a win so thanks for watching everybody and I'd love it if you gave it us a thumbs up 
And if you have any questions, please let us know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye humans.